Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be talking about getting my braces taken off. I know you guys wanted like a live footage of me there at my ortho appointment, but some things did eventually happen and I was not able to record. They have like this new policy where they would not let clients um, record themselves. Like it could be pictures, but no video just to you know put it out there i always make sure that i ask before i do end up recording myself okay so as you guys know or maybe you guys don't know and i'm going to make a separate video on my journey of braces in a separate video because i feel like including it with this video is gonna be it's gonna be way too long so I've had braces for two years and I just recently got my braces taken off my last ortho appointment was held August 12 and August 19th the 12th of August I pretty much went in and I got my top braces taken off August 19th I had to go back in to get my bottom braces taken off I pretty much got my top and bottom taken off different day i went in the 12th the dentist checked my teeth or my braces to make sure that my teeth has not changed since last month so after checking my teeth um my dentist told me that they were going to put semi retainers um, behind my top braces before they take off my braces if you forget to wear your retainers or if you end up losing your retainers and don't get new ones um, you're always going to have those retainers behind your teeth but you also have to keep this in mind that it's not always going to be there all the time because it could break it could snap it's pretty much just glued in just like braces where it could pop out so I guess you do have like an option to get it or not to get it. So the one main reason why I asked was because I know a lot of people had like problems with it or like it was just really annoying. They also told me that you have to keep in mind that if you don't have that permanent retainer or those retainer behind your actual teeth, most likely your teeth are going to shift. I decided to just go with it. The dentist pretty much asked me, so do you still want your semi-permanent retainers behind your teeth? And I was like, yes, let's just go with it. Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So they're just taking off the top braces off. But before they take off the top braces, they're going to put semi-permanent retainers behind my forward teeth. So these front four has um, metal bars that are connected not to each other but like with these two teeth has one, these two teeth has one. Anyways, she pretty much glued them on. After that, she went in on my top braces. So first, she took off the bands that connected for the wires and the brackets. And then she was able to take out the wire that held my teeth together or held the brackets together after taking out the wire she took out all of my brackets that were singly connected to each and every single teeth it was really quick and painless I didn't feel like anything you could just hear and feel that pop 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 but it don't hurt or anything like that but after that I think she cleaned shaved and then polished she just cleaned my teeth to make sure that there wasn't any extra um, glue that was still stuck in my teeth. Okay, so this is the part where it kind of like started to ache a bit or started to hurt. And I guess like everybody is different. Pretty much like when she started polishing um, these back teeth over here. I don't know where it is or which one it is because, you know, obviously I wasn't able to see myself because I couldn't record myself as well. One of these teeth in the back, like these two teeth in the back somewhere. Um, when she like polished it, like I got this really cool sensation and like it ached. So I guess like the sensation is almost like when you bite into an ice cream. Like just a literal bite. And that's how I felt like when she was polishing those teeth over here. And so like, you know, I kind of ached so I kind of like told her and she's like, oh yeah, a lot of people, um get that sensation or um get that feeling when it's being polished or whatever so i was like okay and then she was like yeah like if you if i'm touching up on it and then it starts to ache just raise your hand and so i did that like a few times 
So after she polished my teeth, um, pretty much what they did was they did a molding. So they did a teeth molding for my top uh, teeth. And then now they were going to go in for my bottom teeth, which I don't know why because I still had braces. But they also did a molding for my bottom teeth as well too so the molding was pretty much for my retainers i guess that took a week because when i went back in the next week to get my bottom braces off they had my top retainer ready for me so that's what happened at my first ortho appointment august 12. so my second um appointment i went in pretty much same thing they just checked my teeth to make sure that my bottom braces were good and then they glued in the permanent retainer behind my teeth my bottom and my top retainers or permanent retainers look totally different they are not the same thing they don't look the same they do not feel the same as well before they took off my bottom braces they inserted the metal permanent retainer behind my teeth and then they finally took out the bands from my braces and then took out the wire and then popped the brackets out they didn't polish or shave my bottom teeth this time they did another molding for my bottom teeth they need that molding for a retainer the following monday i had to go back in to pick up my bottom retainer it just took like one minute they just wanted me to pop in my bottom retainers to make sure that it fits it felt kind of weird because like it felt kind of lopsided but i guess when you actually look at it it does look like it fits it might have just been that day because now when i wear my retainer it feels fine but as you guys can see i am definitely not wearing my retainers right now but I'm going to pop them in. So after when they got my retainers ready for me, it comes in a case like this. So they come in this case and they are both in here as you can see. So this is my bottom retainer and this is my top retainer. It has like some glare to it, but this is my top retainer pretty much. So you do get the option of choosing metal retainers instead. How they look like is like this or like this they asked me which one would you prefer the one that was like recommended to me because of the way that my teeth was before I had braces was Claire retainers. Claire retainers if you do lose it cost you about $184 per retainer so if I lose my top one it would be $184 if I lose both of them, or if I crack them, or if anything happened to them, both of them together would be $368. So I'm supposed to wear my top retainer 24-7, unless if I'm eating or if I'm drinking something that is not water. My bottom retainers, I only have to wear them when I'm sleeping. In case you guys are curious, but this is how my teeth look like without braces or without retainers. <laughs> Okay, so this is how my teeth look like. So as you guys can see, this one is like kind of crooked. So this is my top retainer and I'm going to be wearing it. I'm going to show you guys how I pop it in. I'm just going to like try to align it a bit before I pop it up. Uh, okay. And it's in. So it's like pretty clear. I mean like when I talk. I do kind of have like this um, lisp, but you can't really tell. It's like really glossy. If it's far away, you can't really tell. But if I'm like really up close, you might be able to tell that I'm wearing retainers, obviously. So yeah, that's how it looks like with retainer. And then I'm going to pop it in. But this is how they look like. So I don't know if you guys could see it though. Oh yeah, that's like where they cut the retainer out. Oh yeah, you guys can see that line, right? Right there. I'm just gonna like pop my retainer out real quick. I'm gonna go back here and just pop it out. 
pop it open. I guess you get like the option of not having to get like your semi-permanent retainers behind your teeth after you get your braces off but the safer route is just to go with it. I believe that you are always able to get it taken off. For the top semi-permanent retainer behind your teeth, they did not tell me about how much it costs if it does come out. So I guess it's only there for a certain amount of time and if it comes out, it comes out. For the bottom permanent retainer, I was told that it cost me $40 to glue one side in. So I guess if the whole metal bracket has fallen or popped off, then um, it will cost you $80 to get them both glued back in. Anyways, that comes to the end of this video. I hope if you guys liked this video make sure you do share it if you like it and make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you can get notifications from me for new videos